Hello, weaving people. So today I am tying on a new warp to an existing warp, and then I'm gonna pull them all through. So I have everything is kind of tied, so it can't get away from me. So my here's my old warp, and I just did an overhead knot. I'm just gonna cut that off, and then I have my new warp wound on and I'm just gonna take it around one time and then what I have been doing is taking a piece of painters tape and I know a lot of people will undo the whole warp um, but I'm just doing one section at a time. So that kind of keeps it under control for me. And then I still have it on my tape too. So um, I, I know I probably do this overkill. And this would be a lot easier if I was doing um, ex exactly the same color on the old warp onto the new warp, but I'm actually changing it. So, um, you know, it's, it's different, so I have to kind of pay attention. And you won't be able to, to really see this, but I actually have um, some of this light colored warp that I'm putting on um, is actually natural colored and some of it is white. So it's kind of hard to see. I don't know why I decided to make it more difficult for myself. So, oh, and something else, and you, I know you're probably not going to be able to see this in the video, but um, I put two extra uh, empty heddles uh, on the shaft between each section. And the reason for that is if I discover a threading mistake, then uh, hopefully I can just kind of rethread that section uh, without having to redo everything or make a repair heddle and something else you won't be able to see. Um, but I, I put uh, new heddles on my loom and these are inserted eyes, so the opening is much larger and it makes it a whole lot easier for me on my old eyes uh, if I'm using a thicker warp. You know, this is just uh, eight four cotton rug yard or rug warp here. So I just take my first one and this section is, is easier because I don't have a particular color order that I'm following other than I'm trying to keep the natural warp. And so I just take the two warp ends and I'm just doing an overhand knot because I'm not concerned that there it's not going to fit through the heddle eye because my heddle eyes are big. And I just do a little overhead knot and then and push those over and double check to make sure that since I left off and started again that I've got the right shaft, the right heddle. And let's get another one. So I thought about, um, does this actually save me time to tie on to uh, the old warp. And if I just looked at the time between um, tying the two warp ends together, you know, I could pr probably thread my heddles uh, just as fast. But where it's gonna save me time is once I get um, the heddles threaded, then I don't have to thread the reed. I'll just be able to pull it through the reed. So that's where the time savings comes on. And as I said, it would go a lot faster if I had uh, exactly the same color warp because then I wouldn't have to worry so much about um, getting things lined up. And I just kind of check each time I grab one, is it on the right shaft? Have I crossed anything? And I suppose the more I do this, uh, the fast, whoops, I do try and kind of make them line up. Okay. 
And I suppose maybe the more I do this, the faster I'll get, but I'm fairly slow. The nice thing about just doing one section at a time and keeping the tape on it and everything is that um, if I need to get up and stretch or go do something else, you know, I can easily get up and walk away and come back to what I'm doing. So, and there are weaver's knots um, that you can make, but this is just an overhead, overhand knot and this will work fine for what I'm doing. I need to learn more about knots because I'm constantly trying to get the right kind of knot. Either a knot that stays tied or a knot that comes loose um, easily. Seems like you always need one or the other. Okay. So I will continue... matching up and knotting my warp ends. Now that's really pretty much all there is to it. So I was kind of reluctant to try this because I thought, oh my gosh, tying all those little knots. Um, but it's not too bad. And I'm able to sit comfortably at the back of my loom and do this. It's not too uncomfortable. And I, I don't think you can see the chair that I'm sitting on, but I have a um, rolling office chair that the height is adjustable. And I just find it so helpful because it, there's so many different tasks on, on, on this loom and I have another loom and it's like, trying to get the most comfortable position. And so I'm, you know, I raise my chair, lower the chair, just so I get in the right position. And, you know, think about ergonomics, think about getting up and moving every once in a while so that you're taking care of your body. Okay, so I am going to stop the video and continue on with my warp.